Did you know? Sengoku Basura is Capcom's attempt to capitalise on the success of Koei's Dynasty Warriors series. To help differentiate it from Koei series, the dev team looked at other Capcom titles such as Street Fighter and Devil May Cry to help define the game's identity. The cast were made distinct and unique like Street Fighter, while the gameplay was made ridiculous and over the top like Devil May Cry. The word Sengoku refers to the period the game is set in, the Sengoku period, also known as the Warring States period. Basura is a term associated with the challenge of traditional ideals during the Muromachi period, of which the Sengoku era is a part. For simplicity's sake, titles released in the West are typically given a subtitle with Samurai in them, as a simple shorthand to explain the series setting. The first game's localization is infamous for the changes made from raising difficulty levels to making three of the playable cast non-playable. Most baffling of all though was the removal of the Sengoku aspect entirely. As a result, some maps were altered and the entire cast was renamed with such changes as Masamune becoming Azure Dragon, Yukimura becoming Scorpio, and Nobunaga becoming Devil King. Series producer Hiroyuki Kobayashi explained in an interview with IGN that when developing the game's North American release, the team opted to make the setting darker and less Japanese-centric to appeal to Western players. The plan backfired spectacularly and the game was a critical and commercial failure. This is likely why, of the eight titles released since, only one has made its way to the West. Despite this, the series remains incredibly popular in Japan with a number of anime and manga adaptations, a live-action series and even a stage play. The series has a long-running connection with the Devil May Cry series, aside from the gameplay inspirations. Masamune's personality is almost identical to Dante's, along with a number of moves similar to Dante's in his repertoire. This led to Dante's voice actor, Ruben Langdon, taking on the role in Samurai Heroes. In addition to this, Johnny Young Bosch co-starred as Yukimura, after the two had starred together in Devil May Cry 4 as Dante and Nero, respectively. Dante's Japanese voice actor, Toshiyuki Morikawa, is also the voice of Masamune's right-hand man, Katakura Kojiro. The font used in the Devil King's logo is exactly the same as that of the first Devil May Cry game. Using the rally pipe in the same game plays the theme Lock and Load from Devil May Cry 1. Some titles allow the characters to wield Devil May Cry weapons, including Masamune wielding six Alistars, Yukimura wielding dual spiders, and Nohime wielding Ebony and Ivory. A number of attacks in Devil May Cry inspired moves in Sengoku Basura, most notably a Sting-like move for Masamune, and Ishida Mitsunari's moveset sharing many similarities with Virgil's. The fourth game also has two Devil May Cry costumes as DLC with appropriate weapons, Masamune as Dante and Mitsunari as Virgil, fitting for the game's two central rivals. The series has also had characters and costumes appear in other Capcom titles as well. Monster Hunter Frontier G features Yukimura and Masamune costumes with their respective weapons for the player to use. Geist Crusher God features a pair of Geist based on Yukimura and Masamune as DLC. And Masamune was also one of the characters considered for Tatsunoko vs Capcom before ultimately being dropped. Some elements of the characters are derived from history and folklore in ways you might not expect. In the Japanese script, Masamune commonly uses English phrases. Although this may just be an attempt to make him cool, it could also be a reference to the real Masamune's fascination with all things foreign, even pushing for relations with the outside world once the wars were over. Takeda Shingen's Iron Fan is a weapon derived from one of the most famous tales of the Sengoku era. It is said that during one of Shingen's many battles with Uesugi Kenshin, Kenshin charged the Takeda main camp on horseback aiming to strike down his nemesis, only for Shingen to deflect the blow with an Iron Fan. Kenshin's feminine appearance and voice come from another popular myth that emerged from Kenshin never marrying or showing any real interest in women, that he was actually a woman in disguise. Kenshin's fictional bodyguard, Kasuga, is named for Kasugayama Castle, Kenshin's primary fortress on Mount Kasuga. Maeda Keiji's fun-loving and easy-going attitude reflect tales of his misdeeds in history. References are made to Keiji running a bath of freezing water for his uncle Toshie as a prank, which is a popular folktale of his exploits. While Keiji's close ties to Toyotomi Hideyoshi seem to be based on Toshie's historical friendship with Hideyoshi. His friendship with Kenshin references his time assisting the Uesugi invasion of Aizu, and his friendship with Uesugi retainer, Naoe Kanetsugu. Kanetsugu's helmet with the character I, or love, across it, is based on the helmet his real-world self actually wore. Hideyoshi's plans to conquer Japan before expanding out to the rest of the world is a reference to the real Hideyoshi's disastrous invasion of Korea once Japan was unified. 
In the anime, Nobunaga is often seen drinking sake from the skulls of his dead enemies. This comes from stories of the time claiming that the real Nobunaga actually did this, even with the skull of his own brother-in-law, Azai Nagamasa. His sawn off shotgun and Nohime's use of firearms, although incredibly anachronistic, seems to reflect Nobunaga being the first warlord of Japan to embrace western weaponry, made famous by his massacre of the Takeda forces at Nagashino. Akechi Mitsuhide referring to Nohime by her other name, Kicho, is a reference to the two being cousins historically. His identity of Tenkai comes from a popular myth that a monk by the name of Tenkai was actually Mitsuhide living a new life. Saika Magoichi being a title refers to history, where there were three people known to have used the name Magoichi, despite none being born with that name. These three men also appear as generic NPCs in her stages. Zavi is based on the real-life Jesuit priest Francis Xavier, who originally brought Christianity to Japan. The religion built around him, Zavism, is a harsh parody of the religion, being mainly about making money and giving silly names. One of which is Shimazu Yoshihiro's baptismal name, Chester, a reference to the martial arts battle cry, Chesto, which Yoshihiro is often depicted as using. Matsunaga Hisahide's tendency to immolate and blow up his enemies, and even himself, is a reference to his historical death by immolation. His desire to obtain rare treasures like Masamune swords may be a reference to the Hiragamo, a priceless iron tea kettle he possessed that Nobunaga coveted. When faced with Nobunaga's siege of his castle, Hisahide is said to have smashed the kettle to prevent Nobunaga from ever obtaining it. Despite all of these details, the series is largely a mishmash of historical figures and events using a very loose take on history. Of particular note, character ages and lifespans differ greatly from history. Despite being portrayed as at least twice as old as Otomo Sorin, Tachibana Muneshige was actually born 37 years after his lord. Many of the characters that appear around Sekigahara in 1600 died many years prior. Kenshin died in 1578, Shingen in 1579, Motonari in 1571, Yoshiteru in 1565, two years before Yukimura and Masamune were born, Haruhisa in 1561, and Tsurihime in 1543. Let's wrap things up with a few miscellaneous facts. Those involved in the series' production are very much aware of the series' homoerotic subtext. Masamune's Japanese voice actor, Kazuya Nakai, claims that the production team referred to Masamune and Yukimura's fight scene in the movie as the love scene. Speaking of voice actors, there are also two instances of characters possibly being named after their voice actors. In Devil Kings, Kasuga was renamed to Venus, while also being voiced by Venus Terzo. Magoichi's real name, Sayaka, is shared with her Japanese voice actress, Sayaka Ohara. That's all for today, but don't forget to subscribe to Digital Gaming on YouTube and follow Digital Gaming on Facebook and Twitter. Make sure you also check out digitalgaming.com, and if you like this video, check out their other videos as well. I'd just like to take this chance to thank Shane from Digital Gaming. See, months and months ago, I did this fan-made Digital Gaming episode on Dynasty Warriors, which you can see by clicking the annotation on the left. A friend of mine and my brother both suggested that I tweet it to Shane, so I thought, okay, we might get some enjoyment out of it, you never know. And so he liked it on YouTube, and that sent an automatic tweet out to all of his followers and thousands of people then watched the video because they saw it on Shane's Twitter feed. And wow, I've never had that many views in such a short period of time. It was, it was amazing. I, I wish I could get that many views normally. Like seriously, Shane, I don't, I don't know if you even watched the video or if you, know, if you just clicked it to show support to fans or what have you, but either way, really thank you. I, I got a lot of, of subscribers as a result People really like the video, they wanted to see more. Thanks mate, you're the best.